Hello again. Uh, sorry, I haven't been blogging lately. I've been uh, kind of busy, but now I have the time. It's a uh, good Friday. So I hope I do this particular video or blog post or podcast uh, some justice. Anyway, uh, my name is Nathan Chua. I'm here in the Philippines and I'm a counselor. Been practicing since 2009. And I hope you enjoy today's uh, short presentation. So the title of this uh, video is Letting Go to Gain Control or podcast if you're listening to Spotify. So uh, I kind of started this a little bit in a weird way, but I hope you get the point once, once I get to finish it. The school play. I guess all of you remember that uh, once in our lifetimes, if you live long enough, uh, there were school plays that we all had experienced. I remember some of the most fun I had back in school was when we had to do role plays, not just any other role play, but actually create a skit as a medium to learn. Now, there's also very little pres pressure as these were done in front of a class only and not a major production wherein a whole auditorium of students were there to watch. So it pretty much all fun and games. My Louis Vuitton story. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. Anyway, I once entered an LV store in Metro Manila and scarred through some of the merchandise. As I was doing that, I noticed the attentiveness of the salespeople as there were hardly any people around who were shopping. I looked at some items that I thought were very impressive and of course their price tags. As I was on my way out, I said, I love your products, but I can't afford any of them. Walking around with plastic buckets. Have you ever had a time when you and your friends went out and knew that you were all going to do something rather unconventional, at times downright embarrassing? Of course, always in the spirit of good, clean fun. I had one of those uh, who I uh, went out with a group of high school male friends wearing clothes that should only be worn at home, carrying, carrying uh, plastic buckets and brooms and going inside a mall to deposit the stuff we had at the front of the department store where people usually leave their shopping items. Ordering shopao at McDo. Uh, for those of you who are not from the Philippines, who is watching, who are watching this, Shopao is uh, just a Chinese pork bun. And McDo stands for McDonald's. That's how we call it here. When I am in a fast food restaurant, I sometimes order something obviously unserious at the counter. For what reason? Nothing, just for fun. As the heading of this paragraph tells you, I once in the past, or maybe a, a few times, ordered Jollibee Chicken Joy at a McDonald's restaurant. Which leads me to how I got to think about writing something like this for all of you. When I did those, I did not know anything about contextual behavioral science. About a couple of weeks ago, I found an online audio resource created by Stephen Hayes the developer of acceptance and commitment therapy and relational frame theory. He shared one of the ways we can pop that bubble or illusion that says we do what we think by doing exactly 
what I had been doing sporadically since, well, high school. I hadn't realized, I had not realized doing these crazy things weren't just for fun. They were also about letting go of some of the rules that we tend to sell our lives to. What I was doing was letting go of the rules that shackled me from pursuing what would be psychologically risky, but at the same time liberating. I can choose to be how I want to be at any given moment. This article reminds me of my father. He was a good but also misunderstood man. Believe me, I was one of those who did. He had always been a businessman who inherited the family business. Through decades of working in the business, he could not manage to make a sizable profit. He found himself mired in debt until the day he passed. There was one skill that we, his kids, thought that could have made him a world-class cartoonist. We saw some of his drawings of caricatures of his, of his friends with a pen. Every line had a precision that he didn't need a pencil to make an initial sketch. Awesome talent that was never discovered nor shared with more people because he thought he couldn't. Are you living with can'ts, shoulds, must in your life? Yeah, they sure feel safe. But do they make you feel alive? Doing what your mind tells you you can't is a part of the exercise towards breaking that bubble. That bubble that says you can't get out of that family business that is so uncomfortably, so, sorry, so comfortably limiting. Let me repeat that. That bubble that says you can't get out of family business that is so comfortably limiting, just like my dad. I'm not saying, this is just an example. I'm not saying it's for all, all right? That bubble that says you can't do this or that, or, or, or that, sorry. Don't get me wrong. It is not my intention to tell you that anyone can be anything. We all do have limits. The question is, have you tested the limits and seen how liberating it can be on that side where your mind says, no, you can't. And maybe you can just, by doing these silly things for nothing, be you and no one else but you. All right, and thank you for uh, bearing with me and listening to my uh, video podcast or reading my blog. And I hope you enjoyed uh, today's feature. And I hope also that you learned something from it, okay? So until the next uh, vlog or whatever cha channel or medium you want to, uh, you prefer, uh, hope to see you. Bye.